What's up everybody? Jason and your boy Tip over here at Cog Hill. Today is Tuesday, so you know what that means. It's time for Tips Tips. What's happening y'all? Jason over here at Cog Hill. It is Tuesday, so it's time for Tips. Garden and Farm Tips. And so, I'm going to tell you about something. Look at the tomatoes. They're just killing it right now it's so awesome i'm gonna go over something that i do get asked about a lot and i get tickled every time because i'm constantly getting new people to my channel now people that have been following me for a while already know this some may not but it's funny because i'll be in the garden and somebody will say omg i think i just saw something did you see that and what they're referring to is or they'll go on and say it i just saw a snake in your garden Yes, I do have snakes in my garden. And I keep them in my garden to try to ward off birds. I had an old timer tell me this tip a long, long time ago. And he told me to go to the toy store, buy the cheapest rubber snakes you can find. I think I paid 99 cents a piece for these things and just put them in your garden. The key is, is you gotta move them every day. They can't be in the same spot. Or if you're out and about in the garden, you know, move them maybe more than more than one time. I love listening to old timers. I love listening to the way they did things. And then I try to incorporate some stuff that was done back in the day into what we're doing here. Now, I'm sure there's people out there that say this doesn't work. I will say this. I don't have a bird issue in my garden. I don't. I don't know if it's the snakes, or I just don't have a bird issue. Now I am surrounded by wood, so I got birds, lots of them. And a lot of y'all hear them in the background of my videos besides the chickens and the geese and the ducks and the peacocks. <coughs> so we do have a lot of birds. As a matter of fact, Mary Carl loves birds to death and we got, seems like 50 feeders in our backyard. So maybe that's why they're not getting my garden. Maybe they're just full on black sunflower seeds. Now, let me warn you, even though you know these things are fake and you know you just put one right here, you're gonna be hoeing the garden, you're gonna be picking a tomato, and you're gonna catch that, and for a split second, your memory goes away and you just see snake. And it does freak you out. Snake! But when your heart rate goes back down and you can catch your breath, you realize it's just one of your fake snakes you put out. But do remember that, if you got a weak heart, you got high blood pressure. You may not want to put these out. Have any of y'all ever tried using snakes to ward off birds? And did it work? Did it didn't work? I would love to know in the comments below. While we're in the garden, I'll give you a brief update. Man, these Bellarosa tomatoes are just, I'm, I'm so impressed with them. I'm picking, I don't know how many a day. Uh, we're trying to, we're, we're coming up with all different types of ways to use tomatoes. And we're just loving it absolutely loving it i don't think i've ever eaten this many tomato sandwiches in my life and i'm not complaining one more thing that's really really going on that's really thriving is this butternut squash we've already harvested a bunch of it already but it is still putting on and it is beyond delicious speaking of delicious i've been calling this garden candy uh these sun gold tomatoes are absolutely just divine I mean divine. They're just really, really good. We've been eating the stew out of them, and I've just been eating them like candy. I put them in a Ziploc bag, and I carry them with me, and I'll just sit there and snack on them all day. Another thing that is just thriving and doing way better than I anticipated were these rattlesnake pole beans. I mean, I've never grown these either, and these rattlesnake pole beans, as well as those tomatoes from Hoss Tool Company, these things are just absolutely, I can't tell you how many we've gotten and we're still harvesting them. I mean, this is well on into the season and we're still getting rattlesnake pole beans, a delicious bean, just thriving, thriving, thriving. Even things that typically are died out by now are still putting on and that is my summer squash. Uh, generally I've lost them by now from squash boars or they just played out, but man, we're still getting summer squash hey 
hey, if you're interested in any Cocky Hill Farm shirts like this Old Snap shirt, which has become quite popular, check out this link right down below. If you want to see more of our garden videos because we got a mess of them, check out this playlist right over here. If you're new to the channel and like our videos, we would love to have you hit that subscribe button right over here. Y'all be good.